Hello there. This is just a quick video of my uh, SolidWorks parametric model of a Lego Technic lift arm. It's just a quick overview. Um, as you can see, this represents a Lego Technic lift arm. And if you go into the equation manager, you can see that there is a whole bunch of variables with uh, equations that relate to each other. If I want to um, change the length of this model, all I have to do is enter the value in units of how many holes there are. So in Lego, a standard um, is like a standard unit of measurement. It's the same as how many, it's the same as size as a stud in normal Lego and in Lego Technic it translates over to holes. So say if I want this to be five holes long, I click five, I click OK, the model automatically updates and the little um, reference dimension also updates. And there you are, you got a model with five holes now. Um, if I was to want to edit that, I'll do it one more time just to show you. So if you equations aren't here, you can go into um, it from the sketch. Um, panel as well uh, I can add I can put something insane I can make it like a hundred hole model to see if it manages that without uh, breaking my computer in fact yes it does there you are there's a Lego piece that Lego have never made a hundred hole long lift arm pretty crazy and you can actually see the rough uh, I don't know how accurate that would be but the rough um, length of that part would be uh, 796 millimeters so say you want to know how I made this model then uh, the beautiful thing with SolidWorks is you can actually download my model from GrabCAD and go all Doctor Who on it and travel back in time up the feature tree and see what I've done uh, in this particular case I actually did start with the equation manager so I'd have inputted information such as the standard height of a leg a Lego lift arm, the thickness, the, the depth of the counter bore and the, the distance between the holes and the diameters of the holes. This was all from a, a simple technical drawing of a lift arm that I got from Google Images. Um, and then it actually also does a bit of calculation here. So the total length is worked out by the distance between holes times by the value that's got from the amount of holes take away one and then you plus the height to that uh, and that gives you basically this number here um, which is the, the like the total length of the part so there's a bit of maths going on in my equation manager first when you're designing parametric parts it's, it's very useful to sort of to try and start off with the equations that you think you're going to need obviously there's going to be some back and forth as you edit that and you, you work out what you actually need and what you don't and what you need to add in and what what you shouldn't have put there in the first place and probably change the equations a bit when you realize you've done something wrong but that's all just part of the beauty of SolidWorks um, so anyway yeah after that I uh, I created a guide sketch um, and that the model starts at the origin the, the whole diameters again they're, they're just related to the the numbers in the equation manager the um, number of holes uh, in the linear pattern um, is basically here and again that's just straight from the equation manager if you remember it said 20 holes on there and that's where that number comes from um, so if, if, if I uh, if I edit that now to uh, 19 holes oh, not 190 or 19 holes this little number here changes and I get 19 holes um, and then this uh, total length also changes um, based on that equation uh, then after creating the guide sketch I uh, created a boss extrude which is a very simple sort of I converted the entities on this on this guide sketch um, so that it was exactly right every time extruded out I've done a um, a cut extrude another cut extrude 
another cut it through there may have been a quick way of doing that but that's just the way I did it pretty simple and I then did a linear sketch pattern um, which follows the uh, the ninth it's again that number that magic number from the equation manager of 19 or whatever you want to put in and that's how many times it was uh, replicated if I go into edit feature it actually uh, you can actually see here it's linked um, to that global value pretty uh, pretty cool so um, if you want to download my uh, parametric SOLIDWORKS model the link will be in the description um, it's up on GrabCAD so anyone can uh, download it, see how I've done it, use it for your own things. Maybe you want to 3D print some Lego lift arms. Uh, just please don't sue me if you are Lego. Uh, thanks.